Having done a walkthrough of the interior of A Song of the Sea, we didn't in fact record the front section, the crew area, of this incredible swan. So we wanted to come back and do that again so that you could have a look at all corners of the yacht. We're seeing her with her table laid. She is at the Palma Super Yacht Show. And you can see again the totally faultless interior joinery executed by Nautil Swan to designs by Dick Young. And this is how she looks when her owners are on board. So we come down the steps and then we're in the crew accommodation. Enormous galley, which is very good for entertaining. Well used, as you can see, and she's got full crew on board. Huge refrigeration, teak and holly sole, marble surfaces teak cupboards and white painted areas. The thing that really strikes you when you come into this area is the standard of joinery is exactly the same as the rest of the yacht. Nice crew mess. There's entertainment here. And then you're forward into a double skipper's cabin. Very spacious. All the crew have AV, and then to starboard, there's an upper and lower. Both the crew cabins have their own heads compartment, and there is a shared shower stall between them. all in super condition and very comfortable. There is an option of a fold-out berth in the crew mess, if needed for further crew. But for four, this is a great area with ample room for preparing service and also for relaxing when off duty. There it is. Loads and loads of storage everywhere. Good access to the machine room, which is aft of it. And there is a guest cabin to starboard before you go up the steps. Everything on this yacht is beautifully maintained. Ice maker there, as you can see. and then through that lovely figured door to the owner's accommodation.